An 8-2 win for UC Baseball over ECU to begin a three-game series. We've got JT Perez and Trey Habercorn here. We'll start with the uh, defensive side. JT Perez, uh, great outing from you. Seven shutout innings. You were uh, just one strikeout shy of your career high with eight here tonight, but it just seemed like every pitch was really working well for you out there. Yeah, uh, they all felt pretty good. Um, really just letting them work, trusting all my pitches, letting the defense work. And uh, Coach Neal and I tossed a little bit in practice yesterday. He was showing me some grips, so it was, uh, it was fun. And it was a fun uh, night uh, watching you guys work out there. And, uh, you know, one thing we talked about in the broadcast with this team uh, kind of having some, some long innings out there at the plate, is that kind of a little bit of a difficulty sometimes as a pitcher to kind of have to get that momentum going again? Um, yeah, it can be tough. I thought it was going to be uh, a little bit poor weather conditions, but honestly, it held up till the ninth inning, so I felt pretty good, honestly. Yeah, well, you certainly look good out there tonight. Congratulations on your second win. Uh, one shy of your career high strikeout mark and uh, continuing to build up some momentum this year. Thank you. All right, JT Perez with the win tonight. Now the man who got it done at the plate, Trey Habercorn. Uh, another triple from you. You're uh, making a habit of those lately. Uh, three RBIs from you, uh, officially two for three, also hit by a pitch, reaching base three times tonight. Another good performance. Yeah, I mean, with some of the opportunities, I mean, it's great being in the position to get something done for your team. And I mean, uh, early on, that's obviously we're all trying to have some good at bats there. And it, just, it felt nice uh, getting some, just getting some barrel on the ball and getting things done. We certainly did that tonight, uh, reaching in three out of four appearances. We've talked a lot uh, with you guys about how this year, once this offense has really kind of hit this groove the last two, three weeks, uh, it really just gives everybody confidence knowing that you don't have to press up there at the plate. You know, if, if you don't get a hit, the guy behind you probably will, but everybody just doing their job out there, and it's really been a beautiful thing to see. Right, and I, I think the big adjustment you guys are seeing is a lot of two-strike hitting, which is important. I mean, early on in the season, I don't think we did as well of a job putting the ball and playing, giving ourselves a chance uh, with two strikes. And tonight there's a lot of hard hit balls with two strikes, and I think that's what all that makes the difference. It certainly has made a big difference, and it's been fun to watch as you guys continue to build some momentum now. Uh, six and two in the last uh, eight games, and uh, we'll see if we can continue it on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's all do right, it. nice game tonight. Trey Habercorn with uh, three uh, base appearance at the plate, and uh, JT Perez, good outing from you, seven shutdown innings. Thank you. All right, Cincinnati defeats ECU 8-2 to here tonight in Marshot Stadium. Another great performance from Cincinnati baseball as UC defeats ECU 8-2 to begin a three-game series. Joined now by head coach Ty Neal. And this is another win that really feels good because your team performed well in just about every aspect of the game tonight. That was a big-time win for us and, uh, you know, big-time start to the weekend for sure. I was, uh, that, was, that was good. That was, I think it was fun to watch. Um, just not, you know, not necessarily the score, but just the way our guys went about their business. And... Um, a lot of conviction and confidence um, all over the field tonight, and it was uh, it was great to see. You often say how it starts on the mound for this team, and it certainly did tonight with JT Perez. Uh, not only his best outing of the year, maybe the best outing we've seen uh, from a starting pitcher. He goes seven shutout innings, uh, eight strikeouts, just one short of his career high. But it really looked like he had every pitch dialed in this evening. Yeah, he's getting there. He's he did that a lot for us last year and and had a lot of success, and he's had sporadic success for us this year and and that's him that's what he's capable of and um you know i look forward to him settling in and um you know he may not be perfect like that the rest of his outings but you could just tell he enjoyed himself a little bit more out there tonight and and it showed in his performance and his execution of his pitches and golly i was uh it was good to see i was proud of him he certainly uh, had turned into performance to be proud of tonight. Uh, the other ingredient for this team, always good defense. You had that tonight. I feel like it got started early in the first inning. ECU got a runner on third with one out. You brought the infield in, and Connor McVay made a nice play uh, out there to throw the runner out at the plate. And I feel like that kind of seemed like the play to kind of get everything going. You also had a lot of other good defensive plays tonight. Yeah, that uh, we needed that. I think JT needed that because that inning started with a leadoff double. And, you know, JT has given up a few – crooked numbers we call them big innings early on in a few of his starts this year and um you know that was he 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 settled in and was executing his pitches and obviously we got a nice play behind him from connor and i think that just kind of was a, a sigh of relief all right I, I i i got this and uh he settled in after that and um it was really good he certainly did and then uh, on the offensive side eight runs uh, certainly going to be a uh, more often than not going to be enough to get you a win uh, with the way this uh, defense and the pitching staff performs. But I think every slot in your lineup tonight reached base. Uh, you're able to put several straight innings together of scoring some runs as everybody continues to do their job at the plate. We had some great at-bats, uh, some feisty at-bats. I thought we were really good on the bases. And we had a couple big hits with runners in scoring position also um, that allowed us to, you know, 
score more than a, a run here, a run there. You know, a couple of decent innings we pieced together. Um, but I was also proud of our execution with um, moving runners and, and things like that. So just uh, that's the, as a coach, uh, as a baseball person, you'd try and draw up games like that. Um, they don't know this game will eat you alive. This game is, is built to break you. So they don't always end up that way. But that one was um, well executed on all in all facets. Uh, but most importantly, just a lot of just a lot of want to and grit out of our guys um, and you know that that's that's this group. So um, we're gonna strap it on, and see if we can't piece a little bit of that together tomorrow. Well, we certainly look forward to it, Coach. A great way to start this uh, series this weekend. You're now six and two in the last uh, eight games. This team really starting to build some momentum, and uh, we'll see you back out here for two more games this weekend. We'll ride David Oranorf tomorrow and um, see what happens. All right, Coach. Looking forward to it. Thanks for your time. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Matt. All right, this head coach, Ty Neal, is Cincinnati starts the series off in a good way with an 8-2 victory over ECU.